Green and clean, clean and green. Green and clean, clean and green. I don't know what on earth that means. That green I am is up to trouble, it seems. Supercritical carbon dioxide, did you hear? The biggest impact on your process this year. No longer a lab curiosity for a science geek, but a mainstream, cool, and proven technique. A clean supercritical fluid is what I'm talking about. SCF rocks! From the rooftops, I could shout. SCF rocks? Excuse me, what did you say? Carbon dioxide? I really don't need more of that today. And supercritical fluids? I've never heard of that gunk. Clearly, you're giving me a big load of bunk. Not bunk. Not at all. It's the fourth state of matter. I'm telling the truth, not giving you chatter. They're clean, and they're green, and they're changing the world! Where you'd never expect, with more uses unfurl. A fourth state of matter? That's a whole bunch of hooey. Something inside of your head's gone kablooey. Clearly you've imagined all of this sciency stuff. Now please, Green I Am, I've had quite enough. I'm happy with the way I do business today. I'm not going to use them. No how, no way. Supercritical fluids aren't liquids or gases, or solids, but something not yet taught in science classes. They're permeable, soluble, and really quite cool. And if I have my way, they will be taught in school. No solvents, earth-friendly, and won't mess up the dirt. But this stuff is amazing, I will gladly assert. No residue either. Nothing to pitch. After hearing all that, I'm sure you will switch. Listen up, Professor Old School. Don't turn an ear that's deaf. You can use them. Supercritical fluids, SCF. I doubt it, and even if what you say is true, I'm sure I can't use them, nor can my crew. Not just for decaf coffee, but there's so much more. Uses upon uses upon uses galore. They're really catching on with more and more applications. All around the world in just about every nation. Aerogels, coatings, and nanoparticles for sure. MIM, hydrogenation, textile dyeing, and more. Medical implant cleaning, reactions, essential oils, flavors, impregnations, test what's in the soils. Critical point drying and dry artifacts too. Now do you believe SCF is for you? My coatings, my implants, my particles are just fine. You use your process and I'll use mine. Cleaning, cleaning, that's what you suggest? SCF, surely you jest. So what if I have solvents and some residue too? I will not try supercritical fluids for you. Not for flavors or mim or textile dyeing. Do you hear me, green I am? I'm not lying. Not for aerogels, coatings, flavors, or oils. Trying to convince me is a waste of your toils. I will not try SCF here or there. I will not use it anywhere. With all of this a whole laundry list of uses. Get your head out of your books or get handed your cabooses. Beat your competitors in this green economy. Save green and go green. It's not a dichotomy. Safe, affordable, and easy to do. Please consider trying supercritical CO2. Okay, Green I Am, you're making me insane. Clearly you have SCF on the brain. If I agree to try them, will you get on the next train? Wow! I love my new system. It does just what you said. It's clean and green and mean, and it doesn't fill me with dread. I can use it for aerogels, cleaning, and mim. I can use it for particles, coatings, and pim. I can dye, impregnate, extract, and debind. Green I am. SCF is blowing my mind. There's no surface tension and nothing to clean. I'm convinced, Green I am. I see what you mean. It's safe. It's cool and won't break the bank. It's simple, it's fast and accessible, <laughs> like french fries and franks. I can use them for anything. So many uses under the sun. I can't wait to tell everyone. SCF is the one!